Hi, my name is Chip Gibbons, and today I'm going to show you how to build this wonderful Carson Carrington sideboard. And all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. So let's get started. The instructions are really pretty clear. They're mostly just diagrams. And you can see that uh, there's letters and numbers. And then all the pieces, the wooden pieces, are have a number on them. And all the hardware bags have letters on them. Like this, and then you just tell you just put it where you put them where it tells you to put them. Doesn't get much easier than that. So, uh, and there are basically two types of fasteners in the main cabinet. You have these wooden dowels, and when you put them in a hole, you're supposed to put in a little dab of the white glue which they supply. And then there's these cam bolts um, that go into uh, holes that have plastic inserts in them. And you'll have to be really careful when you do that because if you tighten them too much, you'll strip the threads out of that plastic. I guarantee you that. Okay, I want to show you how these uh, cam joints work. You know, these cam uh, bolts that go into the little plastic receptacles. Um, you put those in, and it's important to get them the right height because, as you can see, when you put them into the holes, as I'm doing on one of the drawers, because you can see it easier, when you put it into the holes, it's going to stick up into the hole. And it needs to stick up in within a certain range, otherwise the cam bolt these little things. See this this part wraps around the screw and then when you tighten it, it tightens up the joint. Put that in like that. And then you have a nice tight joint. I made the decision to jump ahead a little bit and make the, the drawers because they are pretty easy to make and it gets a lot of pieces out of the way. So and that's the top drawer and there's the other two drawers. The first thing you have to do is take the two leg pieces and join them together with the four cross pieces. Next you have to uh, turn the leg assembly upright and attach a locking plate to the top of each leg and they include an allen wrench uh, for you to do that. Now turn the leg assembly upside down on the bottom piece which is also upside down and attach it with the allen wrench. When you turn that whole assembly right side up, this is what you get, and this is the base of the cabinet. Next, attach the two drawer separators to the two sides of the drawer cabinet, and then attach that to the base. Now you can attach the two sides of the cabinet to the base, and then attach the top to those four vertical pieces, and then attach the back. And that's your main cabinet right there. And most of your job is done. So it really wasn't that difficult, was it? Please like my video and subscribe so you can uh, see the other stuff I'm going to be posting in the future. Thanks. Bye.